Yo, it's good. It's your boy Desmond. And y'all have some questions about me and my music. So I thought I'd answer them for you and let's do it. All right, the first question is, um, when did you start playing sax and who are your top three music inspirations? So that's kind of difficult. Like top three ins music inspirations is like, that's, you know, how do you like quantify that? I, I have so many important figures that I listened to and looked up to growing up. But I can tell you I did start playing the sax in seventh grade, which was like 2014. So I've been playing for like eight years now. Okay, the next question is, what is the most difficult part of your creative process? My music is me, you know, and, and it's my story. And because of that, I think the hardest part of it is just living it and going through those rough moments that I capture in the song. And, you know, things like that. Sometimes I go through like creative slumps that are also pretty whack, but it kind of just comes with it, you know, like there's gonna be times when I'm more artistically influenced or inspired or whatnot. So it's probably gonna have to be just like living. <laughs> okay, next question. What is your favorite song of yours you made pre-NYC? Don't even have to think about it. To send a, to send a, to send a, hundred percent. Okay, we got a long one. It's how has your view of music and what it means to you evolved throughout the years? That's a good one. Um, I think, I mean, that's a hard question to answer because it's continually evolving and and it's just got, you know like that's very layered and there's a lot of answers <laughs> but to guess put it shortly like i think i have never been emotionally connected to art like i have now and that's been like the biggest change um it means so much more to me than it used to not only because like this is what i've spent my whole life trying to do but i i'm like I don't know. You start seeing things metaphysically. You start seeing things as you get older and you realize like, I need to keep this close to me because it means a lot, you know? And um, I hope it continues to evolve. And one way it's evolved is I stopped idolizing people, you know? Uh, of course, I might put people on pedestals, but I've come to the conclusion that like, I, I needed to stop doing that. and. Once I stopped doing that, I started looking at music differently. You know, I stopped, I stopped looking at people like they were something else, you know? Because at the end of the day, we're all just trying to like say something and get our message across. So it's definitely evolved that way. You know, it's, it's way more important to me than like it used to be, that's for sure. Okay, this is, what other instruments do I play? Um, so all the saxophones, I started on trumpet, I've dabbled in guitar, I can play the piano, I can read piano, uh, I sing, I rap, I can beatbox, uh, I can play drums, um, those are the ones I would say seriously. I've played vibraphone and, you know, xylophone and all those, but, uh, only ones that I would, like, show to the world are, like, keys, my voice, my saxophone and guitar. Okay, I already kind of answered the second one, but how did I get into music or what got me into it? I, um, you know, it was a lot of things. It was a mix of like some of my family members being artists. It was, you know, I had a big, I just wanted to be an entertainer growing up. I used to dance with my family a lot. And I don't know, like a bunch of things, you know? I think it was just kind of built into me. I've always liked to dance. And because of that, I've always liked music. And it wasn't until I stopped taking dancing so seriously, I started just like diving into like producing and saxophone and jazz and genres and lyrics. And like, I just fell in love. And since then it was like, I think it was meant to be, you know. My man asked, various saxophonist, that's impossible. But it's probably Cannonball Adderley. Cannonball Adderley, Kenny Garrett, Braxton Cook's up there. I really like Emmanuel Wilkins. Uh, Dicko's great. Train, of course. 
uh, Sunny State was huge. Um, Dexter Gordon was big for me as well. You know, a lot of people. Sawido Kench, he's dope. Uh, yeah, dude, just like an endless amount. Stan Getz, Paul Desmond, of course. Uh, you know, everyone, you know what I'm saying? And for my boy, Jason, shout outs to you. My most absurd dream that I want to like go through with, I think. I've always wanted, it's not even absurd, but I've always wanted to give a speech at the Grammys. I don't care if I win, I just want to go on stage, you know, like Kanye said. <laughs> um, I really want to go skydiving. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I would love, I've always, you know, I've always wanted to take a bunch of my friends to Disney World and not like have them pay for a thing and just do like a voyage trip. like me and eight of my friends and I just get this big old place and we're all just chilling and you know what I'm saying? I like Disney World, so probably those three. All right, best piece of work you've made in the last three months. Three months, I recorded a jazz EP. That's pretty good. I made some amazing songs, some nice hip hop, some nice jazz songs, R&B. It's gotta be my jazz record though. Like that is um it's a testament to my time here in New York and it's pretty amazing, you know what I'm saying? It's not out yet, but I don't know. For I think for a debut jazz record it's definitely like it's killing. <laughs> What's the best decision you've ever made? This is kinda impossible, bro. Like it could be moving to New York City. It could be picking up the saxophone. It could be meeting people, meeting certain people, you know? It could be listening to my parents when they gave me this advice or my friends or myself. Um, it could be, you know, it could be a lot of things. I don't think I have one best thing. I think, but I think one of the, the best one that I've made, like, you know, in a minute, was like, just like, believing in myself. I think that's the best decision I've ever made. All right, and we're gonna do this one last. It's gonna be, what are your major long-term goals? Five plus years? Um, I would like to grow my fan base. I would like to tour. I would like to chart. I would like to meet people. I would like to help pay my family. Um, I like to be happy, you know? I would like to, you know, have my own crib. Um, bunch of things, man. I don't know. Work on my physique. <laughs> you know, a bunch of things. It's not, nothing, nothing too serious, okay. <laughs> All right, and with that, we're done. Thank you guys for the questions. Uh, there'll probably be a part two because I got so many questions, which thank you again, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for all the, just thank you for everything. Just thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all, I guess. Ah, all right.